I'm once again to introduce you to not just one, but three Friday's friends. I like where we're going with this. We're going this. with triplets. Yeah. Joining us this morning, <laughs> we've got Humane Society of West Michigan Executive Director Holly Gill. Hi, Holly. Hi, Holly. Good morning. How are you? We're well. How are you? Okay, you have three fur babies for us today? We do. So we've started a new thing where um, we take each week, we take our three longest term residents um, and we feature them and we waive their adoption fees. So um, so Becca has been with us actually for almost two years. And Aww. most of that time she's been living in a foster home um, and she does great. Uh, she is about six and a half years old and she's housebroken. She's crate trained, although her foster mom says she doesn't have to be crated. So she's a good girl. If you leave her loose in the house, she doesn't get into things she's not supposed to. Um, she does need to be an only dog and she does seem to be afraid of kids. So I don't think she's probably had much exposure to kids, um, but she does really well in her foster home. She's very sweet. Um, she loves to go for walks. She loves to play with her toys. So um, she's a little harder to place because she has to be an only pet and she can't live with kids. But mm. I know that her family is out there somewhere. There's her. somebody oh, out sure. there. I think she would fall perfectly into someone's house. I like Absolutely. That I like she's, uh, she's well behaved at the, in yeah, the home huge. without being crate trained. That's, yeah. that's a key. Mm -hmm. Right there for a lot That's of people. That's a big deal. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Who do you got next? Um, Ava is next. So Ava is about three and a half years old and she's been with us almost six months, I think. So again, she needs to be an only dog. She can, I think she would probably do okay with older kids. Uh, when she first came to us, she didn't really have a lot of manners. So she was one of those dogs that was kind of crazy and jumped all over you and wanted to mouth on your arms. Um, <laughs> she nice. has, she has learned some manners since she's been with us. So that behavior has gotten much better. Um, I think she could probably live with, live with some older kids, um, that have, you know they're dog savvy um again she's super sweet she's a little bit more active than becca um and so she likes to go for walks she loves to play with her ball out in our fenced in yard dog park here at the shelter um and she's adorable so she looks like a little spotted cow kind of she's cute i said she's the black and white one that we saw there, the little bigger yeah. the bigger dog yeah. so we're seeing cute. a few pictures kind of roll through here so we've seen the first two dogs and we saw a cat in there too is that joanna yeah, that's Joanna. So um, she's been with us for almost five months. And again, I'm not sure why she lives in a foster home and her foster mom says she's perfect. Um, she is chill. She is snuggly. Um, she is affectionate with her people um, and she's social. So she's not a cat that hides. Her foster mom says she is out and about and wants to know what's happening at all times. So how old is she? Um, another really great option. How yeah. Old, how old is Joanna? Um, Joanna is a little bit older. I think she's like five or six years oh, old. And okay. I did hear a rumor that she may have um, a potential adopter meeting oh, today. Well, we so. hope so. Hope Gosh, so. That's the yeah. whole goal here. I love what you're doing here, taking the longest, like seniority. We get to go first. Yes. We've been here a long time. <laughs> right. Hey, don't forget about the third annual Tito's Tots and Tails at Blue Dog Tavern, too. You got the details? Yeah, so um, August 27th from 5 to 10 p.m. at the Blue Dog Tavern, uh, we will get a portion of the proceeds donated to Humane Society of West Michigan. So they did that event last year and it was really fun. Tito's had some um, some swag for all the people that came and um, it was it was really fun. So um, I guess depending on you know what kind of limitations we have as of that time, we should be able to be out on the patio and have some fun. I mean, I like Tito's, can, I like animals. Can I ask a dumb it's, question? Because yeah. I'm good at that. Yeah. I get the Tito's and I get and I get the, the tails. What's the tots? Tots, tater tots. Tater tots. Oh, okay. whoa, <laughs> wait, wait, that just changes things. <laughs> right? That's three things I love. <laughs> so you got See, the I, that's what I'm saying, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it is. See, so Tito's Bloody Mary with some they tater tots. Children, they don't have children up for sale. They right. have right, yeah, for <laughs> adoption, right, yeah, okay. I didn't think that. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much, and have a wonderful weekend. Let's get these uh, fur babies at home. If you are interested, you can visit the uh, Humane Society online, and you can see all the details on their Facebook page. They're located at 377 Wilson Drive, Northwest Grand Rapids. Give them a call, 616-453-8900.